Speed is super important for a business. The key with business is to make sure you're always moving forward, always producing content, and always doing everything you can as quickly as possible while maintaining the quality. Do not conflate quality with speed. You can do the same. Everyone thinks things take forever. Things don't take forever. Things can be done quickly. I know, because I've done it. I've, I've pushed people or done it myself and seen what's gonna be done. Do you know what I could do in two weeks? Me, as a man who knows nothing about web design, in two weeks, I could learn web design and build a website. And I know nothing. So how the fuck can you, the guy who knows websites, take two weeks to build a fucking website? It's garbage. Everyone is slow. And being slow is deadly to a company for two reasons. One, the faster you get things online, the faster you start making money. Now, if you make money today because you were in a rush, let's say you quickly push and you get it online today and you make money. That's one universe. And another universe where it takes a week and you get it online. That week of making money is gone. That money is lost. The longer it takes to get something online, the less money you're gonna make as a whole. If, if I start a company today to the end of my life and start a company next month to the end of my life, the what I start today has been running longer. It's gonna generate more money. The quicker things are done, the quicker money is made. It's as simple as that. Get the money in, get a deal, produce the advert, get it out, get someone else in. Get money, now, speed. No, we can't wait. When's the meeting? Oh, next Wednesday. No, it's not next Wednesday, it's tomorrow. Tell them we'll go there tomorrow. They can only travel to us next Wednesday. We'll go to them tomorrow. We have to close the deal now. Money, 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 now. Speed. Things must happen quickly. It's extremely important. And if you're a loser and you're rolling with losers, you are going to stay a loser. Losers roll with losers and winners roll with winners. Network is everything. The people around you need to be thinking about money, thinking about hustling. If they're not, you don't need to talk to them. I hear this all the time. Oh, but he's my friend, we like hanging out. Hanging out, why? To do what? Play video games? Make jokes? Ha ha, he's so funny, ha ha, ooh ha ha ha. Jerk each other off? What are you doing? If your friends aren't talking about money, why are you talking to them? You need people on your phone who are talking about money and doing important things. You need to be mixing with them. That needs to be your network. If you're rolling with a bunch of video game playing losers, you're gonna stay a video game playing loser. This is super important. Your network has to change if you wanna really become a hustler. Everyone around you needs to have a hustle. Okay, let's say all your friends are losers. Well, now you've got a brilliant idea. So now you're the leader. I wanna run this company. You're gonna do this, you're gonna do this, you're gonna do this. If they all sit there and go, no, I'm tired, I don't have time, blah, blah, blah. Then these people are completely useless. They're wasters. Get rid of them. They either agree to work for you or them off. Find some new friends. Your network is everything. I don't answer the phone to broke boys. You call my phone, if I answer, that dude's important. When broke boys call me, it gets ignored. All rich people are the same. I cannot stand being around people who are not on a mission to get rich. That is the only mission I'm interested in. Everyone I hang around with is on the same mission. We ain't got time for no dumb shit. So if you're still participating in dumb shit, you have got to change your mindset absolutely. If your network's full of losers, employ them. If they refuse to work for you, fuck them off, find new friends. Next, attention is free advertising. So you need to get good at getting some attention, somehow. Because all advertising is, is buying attention, which is fine. But buying attention is more expensive than getting attention for free. Finding a way to get attention is a fantastic way to start generating money. Now what most people do is, you see a lot of people, they find ways to get attention, but they don't monetize. Everyone is competing for attention. But attention is key. So finding a way to do it is important. Anything it takes to get attention. If you have a sign on your company, is the sign big and bright and bold enough? Probably not. There is no such thing as bad attention. In the world we live in now, we live in an attention economy. If you have lots of attention, you can turn that into money. If you have no attention, you're not gonna have any money. We're in an attention economy. You don't even need good ideas now. YouTube has proved attention economy. You have fucking morons out there doing nothing on vlogs, talking shit and being complete losers. But because people watch it, because they get attention, they're millionaires. Attention is the currency of the modern world. You know what's gonna increase the number of sales coming in? Attention. Attention is key. Attention's gonna accelerate everything. Don't be afraid to do things that are a little bit crazy to get people to pay attention to you. Now, obviously I'm not saying join ISIS or something stupid to get attention. Keep it in mind. But attention is the currency. Attention is the magic formula 
that the, the catalyst that's going to take any company and blow it up fast. Does my company get enough attention? No. Okay. So which, which company in my industry does get attention? This one. How do they get it? Oh, well, they pay for advertising or for example, or they did this viral campaign or they sponsored this. How is, are the people taking the attention that you want? How can you get the attention? Find a way. If you have to go and run a marathon dressed as a fucking dinosaur with your company name on the back, then go do it. It's effectively free and it's good for you. Don't be lazy. You have to do something to get some attention. Attention is the key because people don't buy things without being hard closed. So you have to find a way to close them. You either have to do the false urgency thing, we're running out of time, or you can just do, you can do a, if you don't buy now, it's gonna be very hard to get this deal later on, blah, blah, In blah. my experience, I've tried soft closing and I've tried hard closing. Hard closing is better. With hard closing, you're gonna lose some people. The people you close outshine or outweighs the people you lose. I see so many businesses and they're just working softly, just waiting for people, waiting, waiting, waiting. It's better to go hard and just get the business done or not. You got clothes, you got people out there, if they wanna do business with you, they either do or they don't. Which means every purchase is an impulse purchase. If someone does eventually buy from you, even if they've been thinking about it for a long time, the moment they finally decide to pull the trigger and buy is an impulse purchase. That's why I say hard close, that's why people do false scarcity, all these things to try and, and get them to impulse buy. Everybody, after they purchase, the time between the money leaving the bank and them receiving the product, even if it's a few milliseconds, is gonna have that little bit of, mm, it's a lot of money I just spent. Every single purchase is an impulse purchase. Remember that. Keep it in mind. A house is an impulse purchase. A supercar is an impulse purchase. At the point of buying, it's an impulse purchase. No matter how long they consider it for, when they finally click send, it's an impulse purchase. So how does a real estate agent do that? Like a house is a considered purchase. This is where you're going to live and it's very, very expensive. Well, they come and they show you around, they make you want it, and then they start telling you other people have won it. Other people are viewing the house, they're going to put in an offer, trying to force you to make an impulse, yes or no. Uh, uh, okay, we'll take it. They understand, everyone understands. It's always an impulse purchase. You have to put something there to make people buy. Make them do it or they're simply not gonna do it. Do not give people open-ended time frames. If I say, you can have this pen today for X amount or you can come at me, back to me anytime and get the pen. No, no rush. Why would I buy now? I'll, I'll live without the pen for a while until I really need the pen. And I'm not gonna need the pen unless you convince me of the needs. You have to convince people they need whatever you sell. You don't talk about the product. You talk about their need. What's the old adage that they do? Sell me this pen. You ever heard that before? Sell me this pen. People go, oh, well, this pen is blue and this pen is, uh, you can, uh, it's, it's made of plastic and it's durable. But no, it's not, that's not how you sell a pen. Sell me this pen. You need to be able to write things down. But I've already got a pen. Yeah, but now you can write more things down because you have another pen. How are you gonna write down all your ideas? Think of all the things you can write down. You can write the next novel. You can become JK Rowling. You can become a billionaire if you had a pen. You don't have a pen. You need a pen to write things down. Sell the need, don't sell the product. It's the need that sells, not the product. So whatever you're selling, it doesn't matter what it is, sell the need. Even if you're selling fucking raspberries, they need raspberries. Why do I need raspberries? You need raspberries because a fucking it's good for your, I don't know, immune system. Talk some shit. Even a coffee shop. This is the biggest mistake things like coffee shops make. They don't sell the need. They'll sell on, a coffee shop will sell you on price. They'll try and do it nice and cheap because they have lots of competition. They'll sell, they'll have a nice looking coffee shop. They'll have like a good, you know, nice chairs that will look nice, whatever, whatever. But they very rarely sell the need. If I had a coffee shop, I would have a massive sign outside saying, tired, question mark, nice warm coffee. The need, because everyone's tired, aren't they? Everyone's stressed, everyone's going through life. Da, da, da. Tired, a bit. Nice warm coffee, yeah, nice warm coffee. Hmm, okay, walk in. That's selling the need. I don't say, Arabica beans in a cup. Who gives a shit? I care about fucking beans? Sell the need at all times. Never take your eye off that prize. People buy things they need. They sometimes buy things they want, but they always buy things they need. People will come to you all the time and say, start a business you're passionate about. Bullshit. You're only passionate about one thing. Cash. It doesn't matter if you sell rocks. It doesn't matter if you sell jellyfish scrotums. Who gives a shit? Doesn't matter what you sell, it matters that it sells. Sell what sells and get rich. Be passionate for profit. You don't need to know about things to sell things. You need to know about selling to sell things. 
The idea that you need to be passionate about the business to make money from it is complete airy fairy that idiots say. So if you can make money selling concrete, let me tell you something. There's some Chinese billionaire out there. B, not M, B, who's selling rocks and concrete and making billions. Do you think he's passionate about concrete? Do you think he's fucking making love to concrete, kissing it late at night, hugging it in bed? Think he's got a fucking concrete doll and he's made a little hole for his dick? No, he doesn't give a fuck about concrete. He gives a fuck about money, as should you. Drop that I need to be passionate garbage. Passionate for profit only. You are passionate only about what's making you money. Never, ever, ever, ever say no to money. Ever. Never say no to money. I see companies all the time saying no to money. You don't realize even you say no to money. Oh, we don't take Bitcoin. Why? Oh, 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 we don't like it. It's still money. It's still some money. You may not like it. You may prefer other forms of currency, but it's still money. There's someone out there who wants to pay in Bitcoin. You need to create a golden bridge for people to pay you money. It has to be very, very easy to give you money. I will take your money any way you want to send it. If you want to give me Iraqi dinars, fine. Let me check the exchange rate. Bang, 18 million Iraqi dinars, please. If you want to give me gold bars. If you want to give me fucking laundry detergent, I don't give a fuck. If you have two trucks of laundry detergent worth $5,000, and you want to use that as payment, I'll take it. I may try and say, don't you have cash? No, I don't have cash. You got Bitcoin? No, I got Bitcoin. All I have is this detergent. Cool, bro, I'll take it. I will take your money. Never say no to money. Any way people want to give it to you, take it. Any way it's easiest for them, take it. People have vices and people have insecurities. And if you can find a way to twist them, you're going to make money. Let's say you're running clothing. People like to feel good looking and attractive. You have to twist that angle. You have to put something on the angle so that people go, you know what, I want to be attractive. I want to be good looking. I want to look at, I want to be seen as important. That's what all these brands do when Porsche and Mercedes, they advertise as a businessman. Mr. Businessman getting in his car, has his briefcase, Mr. Business, he's important. You're not important. You're not I'm a Porsche. You're, no, you're a nobody. You're a loser. Play to people's insecurities and promise with your product that everything's going to be better. What are you going to sell? Why do people want it? Say you're selling protein shakes. You don't sell, a lot of people will sell a protein shake, best flavor, this much carbs, this much sugar, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? It's boring. If you're selling protein shakes, you need to say to people, you won't be strong without the protein shake. You won't be fit without my product. Why are you wasting your time in the gym when you're not gonna get, you're not gonna get in good shape anyway? Oh, you'll get in shape, but you'll be in better shape if you use my product. Fuck the product. Who cares what's in the product? Sell the result. You need this. You need this because of X, Y, Z. Doesn't matter if you're selling protein shakes or the Hustlers University or motherfucking raspberries. Doesn't matter what it is. You have to push that point over and over and over again. Play on people's insecurities. That's what makes people buy because they're not going to buy otherwise. You need protein shakes or your gym time is a waste of time. Why are you suffering in the gym for no reason? If you drink this one drink, you're not wasting your time anymore. Stop being a loser. Quickly, buy. That's how you have to be. Play on people's insecurities all the time. Ooh.